Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about um the Burkina Faso revolution and um whether it was a political revolution or not. Um we have uh, Kaylee and Jarrell. Um okay let's start with um with uh Kaylee. Well, what are your opinions about this? Do you think it was a political revolution or not? And um why? I think that it wasn't a revolution. Because the only thing that really changed was the president. The former government didn't change. It didn't turn from a constitution to a democracy. So, yeah. It was okay. Um, thank you. Girl, uh, do you think, what do you think about that? Was it a political revolution or not, and why? I think it was, because a political revolution says that it's an uprising where people go against the government and the people they go against the president who in this case control the government so I think it's a political revolution okay um well so please just define um what a political revolution is Katie can you tell us what you think a political revolution is I think that a political revolution is when the form of government changes and I think it's caused when People are happy with, with the government and the foreign government. Okay, uh, would, would you disagree? Do you disagree, Gerald, with this revolution or no? What do you think about uh, with her definition? Do you disagree with her definition or agree? She stated that they go against the government, and that's exactly what the people did, except they went like, further into it. They went against the president who okay. in this control the government. So um, so what? Well, okay, so why did they go against the government? What caused this uh, revolution? What caused the revolution was the president, Blaise Compaoré, and he wanted to change his term. He had been in for 27 years, and he wanted to be in for a fifth term. He wanted to be in for five more years. Okay. Uh, Gerald, do you agree with that sort of cause? Yes, yes, I agree. I, I agree with this. Um, so now, if you look, well, okay, so, so, Katie, you said, so what? what let's talk about the aftermath of uh, the revolution and how can you use the aftermath, aftermath to explain whether it's a political revolution or not? So after the revolution, there were no new forms of government, and it took them maybe a week. I think it took them a pretty short time to find a new president. So, um, and I'd also like to add that it was a popular revolution, a social revolution in my opinion, because it was organized and documented all through social media. Uh, Jarrell, what about you? Um, do you agree that since it was on social media, it's now uh, considered a social revolution, or do you still stand by that it's a political revolution because I still it's stand by it's the government and the president? I still stand by it's a political revolution for the fact that once the president was out, all his ways, that the way he said the government should be, were out, and once a new president was elected, the government was then changed. Okay, and Kaylee, so as Gerald explaining. He said that it's a it's a political revolution because really the president came. The, that was a change. What do you think about what he said about the president being the person? Really, it was all about him. So yeah. it was all about him, but I think it was also the economic well-being of Burkina Faso because basically they Blaise he for such a long time, but he wasn't helping anything. He wasn't helping the economics, he wasn't helping his people, so people turned against him. Okay. And um, so if we're on that note of whether what, what the president did, why don't you each tell us your views on the revolution, whether it was good, whether it was bad, uh, it. and maybe you can relate it to whether it's a political revolution as well. I personally think, I, I agree with Kelly, he, the president wasn't a fit leader for the, his people. He did nothing for them and tried to extend his role, but I think the people's actions were appropriate because they tried 
to do it to communicate verbally, but I, when the president ignored their wanting to end, so they had to take to the streets and take action. Okay, um, Kaylee. So I think I think we all agree on what caused it and whether the aftermath was better or worse. Um, so how about you, you, you reach? So Gerald said that. Okay, what do you think was affected most after the revolution? They started that. What do you think? What was affected most was the people, because after all of that, and then the only thing that changed was the president, and they had to balance that. They destroyed so much. They torched down government buildings, statues, monuments. So I think all of Burkina Faso had to adjust and start rebuilding right away. Oh, okay, so what you're trying to say that since what was affected the most was the buildings and that stuff, that stuff being political. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm not saying it was political. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm asking. You're trying to say that since the buildings were what, were the thing that was affected most in the streets and stuff, that's not political. No, it wasn't political. Okay. And Joe, what do you think about what you said? I agree with the fact that they did tear down a lot, but I disagree where you say it's not political. Because when he when once they like they elected a new president, which they trusted, which they knew he who he or she would change the government for the better. So I still think it's political because the people then changed it themselves. Um. Okay. So well. So. So, so you're saying that the thing that was most affected was the government. Yeah. Um. Well, but don't do you not agree that the building on the streets are also affected a lot? Yeah, like I said, I, I agree that happened. But once they voted, they voted for someone they trust, someone they knew who could change. Okay. But they destroyed. So I still okay, think it's Katie, the government. Katie, so you, but it, it, even though the streets and the things. Affected most this revolution, as Jarell is, Jarell is trying to say that it affected the government most, and it's all about the government. What do you, what do you think about that? that what well, wasn't it all about the government? See, the government wasn't really affected though. The only thing that was affected was Blaise Compaore and the people, and partly the government because they had to work on a new election. But nothing changed. Nothing really. The government didn't have to shift. They didn't have to adjust to anything, except for maybe a new building, except for trying to build a new place where they could work. But it was really the people that were affected. Okay. So, um, what do you can do? You want to give us any specific examples of people that were affected? Or okay, how about how about each of you conclude and explain again? After all, we've talked about um, well, what a political revolution is and why why it's a political revolution. A political revolution is when the government shifts and people start going against the government because they're unhappy with their, the things they're doing. And I think that the Cuban Faso revolution wasn't political because the only thing that changed was the president, not the government. And and the people, it was organized and documented through social media. And it was all based around the economy and the way that the president was treating it. Okay, and Joel, can you conclude? I agree with the, with her definition of a political revolution, but I disagree with it not being political. I think it still is political for the fact that when the president was there, he, he controlled the government and helped, like, he helped towards it. So when he was out, his ways with the government were also out. So I still stand by it being a political revolution. Okay, thank you.